you see what happened with uh, Rick Ray and Henderson? We heard about that. I, you know, I saw it uh, last night. I saw it last night. I was just searching through my phone. I saw it, yeah. Ray's apologized for yeah, it. Yeah. Have, have you ever found yourself getting into a verbal confrontation with an opposing player while you were a coach? Uh, not when I was a coach, no. Um, but when you were a player? All the time. Oh, that was, you know, I was. I was a way of life, you know. Just, <laughs> you, I mean, you're competing, you're battling. I mean, that, that was that was not a problem because I was always a defensive stopper, so you got to get underneath the guy's skin. So I did it all the time as a player, but not as a coach. Uh, uh, but I've had guys, you know, look over at the bench as, as players that are making plays. Look over at your your bench, but I, but I think for me as a coach, that's more your players. They have to handle that, you know. As, as a coach, I mean, I can't play. My day's over. I can say something to the officials. But then I go back to my days as a player. I mean, as a player, you got to handle that because uh, you see it. Were you a trash talker? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I was. I, but but it's only to the guy you know I was going against. I mean, I, you know, uh, yeah, I did. But but you're competing. I, I think what happens when you're competing is, is who you are. You know, you can be two different people uh, when you when you're doing battle. This is what you do to win it. And compete in a basketball game, uh, but it doesn't—it doesn't say that's who you are off the court. There's a difference. Yeah. Would you have a problem with one of the players on your team exhibiting some of the antics that Marshall Henderson does? <laughs> well, I mean, if you're doing it in a way you're competing, and it's not a technical foul, it doesn't take away from your teammates. Then I'm fine with it.